Okay, y'all, this is it. It's go time. Sunday, day three of the trifecta. And if myself and Elijah want any chance at trying to place in the tournament, we are gonna have to get it done today. No breakfast for us. Nothing is open right now. We will get out there and I don't know. We're gonna fish the same spot since we're familiar with it. We do not know this area. Where do you wanna fish first? Like, do we want to just like hurry up and just don't mess around this, with the grass? Or I say we try the spots where they caught the, like the reef where they caught the stripers. You want to go out there? Sure. Okay. Elijah's going bold. The only thing is, we're gonna have to make a mad dash to get out there to it. We'll try to troll along the way just to double our chances and see if we can pull something in as we get out there maybe a bluefish maybe a striper and then we'll fish the reef and then that's all we're gonna have time for we're gonna have to like really beat feet back over here as we were launching bumped into Two other anglers that are going to be fishing inside the trifecta. What's y'all's names? Matt, Mike, Matt, and Mike. How have y'all been doing so far? Not too good. Not too good. <laughs> Same here. Uh, we're just enjoying the sights. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's beautiful. Are y'all from up here? Yeah. Yeah. Are okay. What's uh, the biggest trash fish y'all got? Uh, Twenty-eight and a half inch uh, sand sand shark. Yeah. Oh wow, that is. I wouldn't consider that trash. Was definitely not trash. <laughs> yeah, all we've been catching was small little fluke yeah. and uh, what else? Uh, porgy, small sea bass, just a bunch of small things. Yeah. And it was all out here. So right. we're not even from the area. We're basically we're sticking with what we know. Sure. And yeah. hopefully it's going to be uh, good today. Yeah, it'll definitely be fun though. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> most definitely. Good luck, gents. All right, yeah. thanks. Take no, no stripers last night. Spent pretty much all night out here. Really? Yeah. Um, um, when the tide's going out, which it is right now, sometimes yep. they line up right here where this, okay. all this from yep. the cove pushes out. Yeah. And you'll even get stripers too sometimes if you're lucky and you can get up to real nice size ones. Okay. All right, Josh. Man, wish you had better luck. I'm happy. I caught fish. I caught some nice fish. That's good. They were keepers the, yeah, last night, the night before. Last, last night I didn't do too great. No fish. Well, I caught a fish at the outflow. And then this morning I caught a couple fish, so. All right. And it, hey, it was a beautiful night. It was a good night to be out. <laughs> if I had awesome. to pick a night, it would have been last night. All right, big boy, let's get going. Right now we're headed to the reef. We can see it just off in the distance. See it right over there, Elijah? That little rock hanging out the water? <clears throat> yeah, it's got, see where the boat is going towards? Oh, that's, that's the reef. Yeah, there's supposedly some currents that work around that reef anywhere there's moving water in the salt that is usually your ticket to catching some decent sized fish i'm hoping that the water will be moving in either direction uh should be on an outgoing tide right now but regardless if we can find any kind of moving water uh hopefully we're gonna catch some fish taking a big huge chance on leaving the rocks behind because the tide is coming out it's everything is being flushed out of that inlet now everything that i know about fishing is telling me we should stay over there and fish that that uh outlet for any fish hoping to get a cheap meal from all the bait fish that are being flushed out you no, because you have to go all along outside of the uh oh elijah Yep. Or grass. No, it's a fish. Lucky. Reel yours in. Why? Because you got to reel it in. My, I don't need to get caught in your line. Oh, I think he got off. Oh, no, he didn't. It doesn't feel big, whatever it is. Let's hope it's big. It's a flatty. How do you catch a flatty like this? Oh my god. Is it flat fishy? 
Yeah. Bite it? Oh gosh, the net's inside yours. Okay. Where's the boga? Uh, I don't know. Inside yours, huh? Yep, right here. All right. 30 feet of water, <laughs> we, we're we trolling, trying to get to the reef, and we catch a flatty. That's it's insane. Tough. Only problem is, it doesn't look big. Okay. Oh, don't do that. Okay, I thought you were trying to lean. I don't want you to fall. Whew. One of the hooks has come out. Let's get the other hook out, but it doesn't matter now because we got the bogo on them. There we go. Hold on, fella. Come over here, son. All right. Let's get the measure. Okay, I need you to unclip it from that side. Right. Come on, lay down. <laughs> he it's won't. Okay. He won't put his fin down. Oh yeah, that's a 19 incher. Bigger. Yeah. Be crazy. Look. Look. So long, Mr. Flatty. Okay, this is the last drift that we're doing through here. We're gonna start heading back in a second, son. We are? Yeah. The, he's pushed him in the water. <laughs> he's pushed him in the water. Tell you what, these city birds are ruthless. Imagine that happening to you. You just got done drying your wings. You're about to start flying again and someone pushes you in the water. Yeah, and we thought our world is tough. Yeah. Those guys are trying to take a vacation out here in the middle of uh, the water and oh boy just gets ruthless. <laughs> That's it. That does it for the jigging over here at the reef. Uh, I'm not marking many fish. We had a couple of marks just go by, okay, but nothing is really today. taking the grubs that we're uh, using. So. We're gonna reel back in, head back over towards the bank, fish the rocks, fish the the soft bottom. Maybe we can pick up a There's fluke a or something. Right here. We out of here, trolling back. Uh oh, uh oh. That one? No, I'm bottoming out. Uh, are you stuck? I don't know. There's no head shakes. Probably bottomed out. Yeah, it's got to be bottomed out. Because it's 24 feet now. It's starting to get shallow. Oh, look at this. It is a fish. A sea robin. Oh. That's okay. And that's what you call quick release. He wasn't big enough anyway. Yeah, caught a sea robin on the troll. Check that out. I couldn't tell if we were bottomed out or not. He wasn't giving much fight, was he? Nope. Right on schedule. Nine o'clock. Time to head back in, pack up the hotel room, and make our way over to Three Bells. Gotta get some breakfast before we get back, though. I know Elijah's gotta be hungry. <laughs> Poor little guy. I know I'm hungry. We made it, and with time to spare. We showered, changed over, feel great. Three hours of fishing in this morning, and was able to catch a 19 inch flatty. Uh, what else did we get? Oh, we got the sea robin on a trolling lure. Tiny. I don't. I honestly don't understand why that small, tiny little sea that, robin. That guy's four inch sea robin. <laughs> yeah, uh, sea robin on a trolling lure. Man, that's so crazy. So you want to give me a quick rundown, like 
what you guys got here, what y'all are able to do for uh, anybody possibly coming in, just like me yeah. from out of the area. Uh, well, I'm from New York and I drove literally the two and a half, close to three hour drive, depending on traffic, to get here to purchase my boat. Yeah, which is pretty much what our average customer does. Yeah. You know, because all we can do is Hobie and we love it that way. Okay. <laughs> you know, we love the fact that we're 100% dedicated to Hobie. Uh, we typically stock on our showroom floor, we try to have a good representation, but we have two warehouses so we can offer every model and every color to our customers. Uh, we do in-house rigging, which we can usually do on the spot. Yeah. Um, most of the time, it's not a promise. Uh, Sean actually is the one who does a lot of the rigging. How's it going? Yeah. Uh, we we'll rig for free. Even if you don't purchase the stuff from us, if you buy a boat from us, we'll rig it for you. Because while we like to think we have a lot of the best, uh, we know we don't have it all. <laughs> so there's other solutions out there which we're happy to accommodate people with. Well, what actually uh, drove me to come here was the fact that they actually had everything that I needed. Every other kayak shop that I called uh, did not have it in stock. They said they could order it for me, but I was like, no, I need this right, you know, right away. I was getting ready to fish Jamaica Bay, that kayak oh, classic true. tournament. Yep. And I was just like, you know what, nope, I'm gonna go over there. And then Elias told me that, you know, go check these guys out because I actually asked, you know, him, yeah. hey, uh, where's the spot for me to go? Where'd you buy your boat? He yep. said, here, I am so glad I did it. Yep. I mean, Elias has been a big proponent of ours. Another big feature of Three Bells is we have every model available to try. Uh, like there you this have one it. right here, we have the Hobie Pro Angler 17T, which uh, our customers, you know, when you're spending this kind of money, you want to make sure it's right. Yeah. And I have a lot of father-son teams like you guys, grandfather-grandson teams, and um, we tell them, go spend butt in the boat time first. Yeah. And we just put them off, tell them, rod and reel, we got bait here, we're right on the water, send them out, and uh, it mostly translates into good times and sales, of course. And that's an open offer that we have. Um, if you're serious, come and see us. We'll put you on the water. Yeah. Uh, don't come and see us 4th of July weekend. But, <laughs> you know, it's just like, yeah, let's make some plans. Let's do it right. And let's make sure we find the right product for you. Yeah, these, these guys are awesome. So you can go to any dealer that you want. And, I mean, you have your pick of the litter out there. But whenever it comes time to actually finding the dealer that actually cares about you and wants to make sure that they get you inside the right boat, that's what you want. When you find that, that's what you're gonna stick with. And it's the main reason why I'm gonna stick to these guys exclusively. So everything that you're gonna see, Hobie, any rigging that I'm gonna be doing, I'm ordering it from Three Bells. And their customer support, the customer service that they give, the guys, their knowledge on the actual boats with the rigging in-house, I mean, it, it's phenomenal. Thanks, Mark. And um, you just come and check us out. You know, we will put you guys on the water. That's what we do. That's what we love doing. I mean, I got dedicated staff to put people on the water. by Three Bells Outfitters. Uh, they pitched in the kayak. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just want to say thank you for everyone for coming out for the second edition. Uh, thank you to the team. Uh, huge thanks goes to Derek, who did a lot of the organization when it comes to raising some of the raffle prizes. Uh, and just all of you guys for coming out, making it so much fun. Uh, the New York, New Jersey, out of state people for coming here and talking. You know, I've had so many people come up and thank me. Um, but it's actually it's the opposite. Is thank you guys for coming to Three Bells. Thank you guys for everything, and uh, we're hard to looking forward to next year. It's great to have everybody here, get folks together in Connecticut. So we'd like to do it again. All right, on to the trifecta. Our top three candidates are third place was Scott Schneider, 82.25 inch total. Close for no cigar. Our runner-up for TVO Trifecta was Josh Rayner. He had a total of 88 inches. Congrats, Josh. And the 2017 TVO Trifecta winner is Mike Kelly. Yeah. Mike, are you here, Mike? 
All right, Mike had a 43 inch grinder, 35 inch blue, and 17 inch blue. <laughs> awesome. So, congratulations. Right. Good job, Mike. Uh, he gets the 2017 Camo Edition Hobie Outback. And there you have it, fellas. That's it. That's the conclusion of the 2017 Three Bells Outfitters Trifecta. If you're in the New England area and you ever have a chance to come out here and fish this thing, do it. You got a great bunch of individuals, a lot of guys in the kayaking community who are out here. Some of the Hobie fishing team members, the Three Bells team members, they do a great job taking you out there, showing you what's up on the water, putting you on the fish. And like I said, you have a chance to come out here and fish it, you've got to come out here and fish it. Till next time, tight line.